Hello, the sun is coming down and yes, you read the title right. I am planning my funeral. Fancy, what is a 19 year old like yourself trying to plan a funeral? Four, I forgot to say four. To that I say lots of freaking reasons. First of all, I have been talking about a funeral with my friends since elementary. And second of all, we are in a pentatonics. So obviously, who knows when I'll die? And hopefully I won't die of COVID, but that's not up to me. And third of all, I would love to die maybe when I'm in like my 40s or later because for my funeral plans, yes, I put the fun in funeral. I want it to be like kind of cool and happy and treat my friends even though I'm dead. And that's why I need to start making my funeral plans now. Also, note that I do have mental health resources down below for those who are thinking of dying. Um, just because I'm planning my funeral doesn't mean I'm planning to die anytime soon. It's just a reassurance that when I die, these people will be having the time of their lives and hopefully not be too sad when I'm gone. So first of all, let's talk about my death plan. Yes, I have a death plan. Um, it says, please know that I appreciate you even after I'm dead. So I need to first plan what my card looks like. Invitation for Vinci's, it's not my only wrong, <laughs> funeral. Um, I would say, because I don't have a lot of close friends, and uh, probably half of my family will be dead when I'm dead. So maybe around 20 people would be a good place to start when it comes to estimating. <laughs> I have like five friends. I don't need that many people for friends. Um, yeah, five friends is good. Five friends and then 15 of my family members. That's like reasonable, right? I don't know. I never died before. Um. So for food, I'm estimating $60 per person and so that means like $2,400. When I say I can't do math, um... Let's talk about cost of dying. Um, right now in Edmonton, I think the services that they provide, you know, like getting the body ready, hair, makeup, blah blah blah. Um, at least a thousand dollars and that's like the minimal minimal. So I'm thinking like around three thousand dollars for my viewing service and um, cremation. Cremation? How do you say that word? Cremation. Cremation. Okay, now I want to be a tree. I am true! Vincy.jpg on Instagram, YouTube, and on Twitter. So go follow me if you want more of this. Thank you. Now, I want my ashes to be with a tree so it feels like energy recycles or whatever. So that would be $200. So, so far with food, preparation for the funeral, and my bio urn, it would be $4,400 because I can't do math. Wow, dying is expensive. <laughs> okay, let's talk more about ceremony plans because as I said before, I want my friends and family to have a blast when I'm dead. So, first in the morning, you're gonna come in for a viewing, look at me, and my dead glory. Yeah, so for the viewing part, I'll be dead in a casket and I want a teddy bear in my casket while people are looking at me. Um, and I want to be cremated with it. Should I show you the teddy bear? Sure. This teddy bear holds a lot of meaning to me. I think it came to Canada with me and to think that I like almost gave it to my ex-girlfriend is unfathomable. Um, so I want to die with it. You know, when I'm like laying in my deathbed. Just imagine, you know, like laying in the casket and then this thing is just with me. Wouldn't you just want to smile? Because look at it. So don't be sad at my funeral. I'm okay. I have a teddy bear. Yeah. After the viewing, I would like. You don't have to if you don't want to. But the people who love me, you can make speeches about me. Oh my god. Finally, the center of attention after I'm dead. <laughs> Um, no, but seriously, don't feel pressured because what's worse than a speech is a bad speech. 
So if you're bad at talking, don't talk at my funeral. <laughs> that sounds really mean, but I'm serious. If you miss me, I know it in your heart, you know? Like, you don't have to talk if you don't want to. I don't want my families to, like, talk about me. <laughs> you know that. Why am I being so, like, defensive? That's part of the reasons why I made this death plan is because death shouldn't be something you're so scared about, you know? It's part of life. Why not plan it and enjoy it, even if you're dead? You want to take care of your friends and family even after you're dead. So this is my way of appreciating that. But the one person I know that can make a speech about me without it being, um, stupid is my best friend. So, Hina, if you're watching, prepare to give me a eulogy. Thank you. Also, I hate it when people like make the dead sound like they were the best person ever because I'm not the best person ever. Don't make it sound like I was an angel. No, I'm a flawed, flawed human being, but I'm sometimes a good friend and sometimes I'm not a bad person. We can talk about that, how I'm just human. It's fine. The next part of the ceremony, oh my god, is you're gonna write letters or I guess cards. Have you seen Dead to Me? Yeah, they put notes in a balloon. I want it to be environmentally friendly balloons or else Hina will beat my ass for it. So um, I'm gonna get everyone to write notes of what they want to say to me and put it in a balloon and then just release it to a song. I don't know which song. I haven't thought that far about it yet, but I want there to be two songs. One like, ooh, a sentimental one, and the second one will just be funny because this is where the party starts. After the letter, I want there to be oyster and crab appetizer. Obviously salad for, you know, vegans or vegetarians. And then I just want there to be a lunch party because who brings people together and I want it to be sunny that's a joyful part of the day so that'd be nice and then after the lunch party I want a video to be shown <laughs> me and videos hello I'm sure I'll make a video sometime in the future for my funeral if someone is kind enough to finally make a video about me this would be the time to show it at my funeral. And then for the parting gift, like you would come to a birthday party and receive a gift bag to go back to your house, I want there to be a funeral gift from me to you, my final gift to my friends and family. I'm not sure how it would be, it may be a Polaroid, maybe a picture, maybe just a card, but it would be dumb things I said that would cheer anyone up because I say dumb things all the time. My friend has a notebook recording the dumb things I've said. That's how frequent I say dumb things. And that would conclude my ceremony. However, however, there's a big however because it's not that simple after you die, you know, like people have feelings or whatever. So I'm gonna set up an email account. So if you ever want to write me letters, you can send it to the email. I mean, if I was rich, I would rent a P.O. box, um, but we'll have to see, you know, like, if I'm not rich, then... <laughs> I don't know how to end this video, this is so awkward, um, I don't know where I'll be a tree, but just, like, make me a tree, you know, like, I'll, I'll, I wanna be Groot, I'm just gonna be I am Vincy, and I'll say that for the rest of my life, in silence, cause I'm dead. What am I even saying? I mean, you might think I'm crazy for talking about death, like, so openly and, like, normally, but, like, this has been an emotional journey. Now you all know my death plan. Go out with a bang. That, okay. Um...